In this video, we'll be learning about creating a user form into our Excel VBA, that is Visual Basic for Applications. We'll be also seeing how to change the color, change the title, change the height, width and so on. Let us see that. So first thing is I'll go to this developer tab and click on this Visual Basic. So that's a VBA editor. I'll just minimize it. Yeah, like this. So if you see, I have this windows named as properties window. This is a properties window. I have this project VBA project and that's a blank place given here. So now what I can do is if this VBA editor, sometimes if the properties window gets closed, suppose if I close this, how do you get it back? So you can go to this view, view menu bar and you have this properties window. So if you click on this place like this, the properties window will come back. Similarly, if this project VBA project gets closed, you can just if it is closed here, you can go to this view menu bar and you can bring this project explorer. So it will come back again. Now, if you want to create a user form into VBA, what is the method? You can go to this insert menu bar like you created a module same way you will be creating a user form here. Now when you click on this user form, you will get this user form. Okay, the name and the title is given as user form itself. If you observe in the project VBA project, you have got a new folder named as form and inside that forms folder, you have that user form one. So if you keep on creating multiple user forms, you'll get the name user form one, user form two and three and so on like this. Now, if I click on this user form one, I'll get all the properties. These are the properties and these are the values of the user form itself. Now let us see that in the properties window, these are the properties and these are the values. Now, for example, I have a title given here as a user form one. If I want to change the title of this user form one, I can just go to this caption option that is caption option and I can just click on this value field that is user form one and I can delete it like this. I'll just put a backspace here and I'll type here as welcome screen. So I'll type here as welcome screen itself. And now if I want to execute, if I want to show this user form, you have this option as run button. If I click on this play or run button and uh, I'll cancel it, make sure you keep your cursor here and click on this run button. And if you see, I have got a blank Excel, uh, you can see as blank screen. That's a user form. The name is given as welcome screen. You have only one option that is close button because we do not have anything like we have not added buttons, checkbox, radio box, nothing here. Next. If you want to change the color of this screen itself or the user form, you can just go to this back color in this place. And if you see, there's a drop down given here at this place. If you click on this drop down, you have this system colors and palette colors. So if you click on this palette colors, you can choose the different colors available. So if I click on this color here and I've selected that color. Remember, you have to go to this back color, click on this drop down. There are two things, system and palette. So from the palette, you can select some color from this place. Now I'll just click on this place. And if I want to show you the screen, I'll just click on this run button. Now, if you see the color of the screen has changed, right? So I'll just click on close to come back to the VB editor. Now let us see if you want to change the height and width, very simple things. You go to this column in this properties, search for the height thing. That is the height. Now the height is given as 180. If you want to change from 180, you just click, keep your cursor there. And you can put a backspace and say as 300 like this. And if you keep your cursor here, remember the number is become as 300. If you keep your cursor here, now the size has increased to 300. Same way, if I, if I scroll down and if I find a width here, which is 240, so I can just change from 240 to 300. That's it. And if I click outside, the size of the, the width of the form will increase itself. And now if I just click on this run button or you can say run button, you can see the form, the color is changed, the title has changed, the height and width of this form has been changed. So I can just click on close. There's one more option that is known as toolbox. Toolbox is used to add some tools to your form like radio button, checkbox, buttons, frames and so on. So if you want to see that uh, toolbox, you have to go to view menu bar, toolbox. So this is the toolbox which you have. Okay. So on this toolbox, there are multiple options. Like I'll just keep a cursor there and you can read that. This one is given as label. If I show you the second one, it is nothing but a text box. 
the third one is the combo box the fourth one is list box check box radio button and so on so these are different options which are given sometimes if this toolbox is not visible just click on this close if it is not there so you can just go to this view and you can select this toolbox itself and the toolbox will appear itself right so i hope you are able to understand how do we create a user form into vba how do we change the properties and values of this user form itself that's all for this video